welcome back my dear students in this class let us learn another five marks important question and that is the seven celled eight nucleated embryo sac or simply they will ask you to write explain the structure of embryo sac see this seven celled eight nucleated embryo sac consists of one egg okay and anti podal cells okay and two polar nuclei okay and synergies so you can see here this is the structure of mature embryo sac it consists of one egg okay and antipodal cells and it is three in number three antipodal cells okay next there is one more two polar nuclei see this is known as polar nuclei and two synergies so these are the structures which are found inside the embryo sac keep a note on it embryo sac represent female gametophyte pollen grains means it is male gametophyte embryo sac means what it's a female gametophyte see i had already told you in the last class that is in majority of the flowering plants only one megaspore is functional okay only one megaspore is functional i had already explained the megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis or reductional division and it forms what four megaspores but out of four the three will become degenerate but only one will become what functional and that is known as what i had already explained monosporic development right so this is known as what monosporic development that is only one functional megaspore will be produced okay then after the production of one functional megaspore okay the nucleus of the megaspore see here this is the one functional megaspore so the nucleus of the megaspore it divides into two nuclei and the two nuclei move towards the opposite poles right so this stage is known as what two nucleate embryo sac or simply you can call it as two nucleate stage okay next one more sequential division takes place forming four nucleate stage again this nucleus will divide mitotically okay and it forms two nuclei here and here it forms two so total four nucleate stage will be formed then again one more sequential mitotic division results in the formation of this two will divide to give four and this two will divide to give four and in a total eight nucleate stage will be formed okay and after the eighth nucleate stage after the eighth nucleate stage the cell walls are laid down you can see here the cell wall it is forming a cell wall and here also it will forms okay the cell walls are laid down okay and it is organized into typical female gametophyte and this is known as mature embryo sac okay this is how mature embryo sac will be formed okay now let us study the structure of this mature embryo sac in detail okay see here you can see how many nuclei will be present eight nuclei and seven cell okay and here the six out of eight okay and here the six out of eight cells are surrounded by cell wall see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 
Okay. See here, the six out of eight is surrounded by cell wall. Structure of seven celled eight nucleated embryo sac at 
maturity see they will ask you for five marks for five marks you have to start from here and you have to end till here or else they may also ask about monosporic development if they ask you for monosporic development only this much is enough okay and if they ask for just to explain the structure of embryos are you can just write this much that is enough but the development if they ask you then it is better to start from here and to end till here so this diagram is also very important keep a note on it and it's a very important again repeating five marks question in this chapter hope you have understood thank you